Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 amazing apps that I believe every iPhone user must have on their device. Now, these are not like some fancy apps. Most of them will actually be very simple apps, but yet they are very, very useful and will help you complete some tasks really fast and really efficient on your iPhone. Now, the first app for the video is called Desktop Mini. Now, this allows you to basically have a desktop on the home screen of your iOS device. Now, the app is free to install and you can try it out for three days. Then you will have to pay $3.99 if you want to get it on your device. But what you can have with this app is a lot of different shortcuts, maybe images, links, folder with files, anything you want directly on the home screen. So here I have a few things. I want to open the link right there. It will open the link for me. What's really cool is that you can have images maybe that you use frequently like that one right there. I can just tap on it. and It will be copied into the clipboard of my device. And of course, I can just go ahead and open any folder I want directly from here which is really awesome now with this app what you get is three different desktops of course three different widgets that you can have each of them can be configured differently you can tap on edit desktop right here you can of course customize it and then you can also add your shortcuts you tap right there you can just go ahead and add anything you want like an iCloud file a folder a link or you can even add from Dropbox OneDrive right here. Of course, you can paste any images you want. Tap right there, paste the image, and then you will find it, of course, on your desktop. As easy as that. You paste the image. It's right there. It is saved, and you can just go ahead and copy it anytime you need it. Snapshot is the next app for the video. Now, Snapshot uses AI to summarize any website that you're on. So here we're on the website on Wikipedia here for Kobe Bryant. Now, what we can do here, if I just want to summarize this, just tap the share button and right here, find snapshot. If you don't find it, just go right here to more, find it on the list and just enable it and you're good to go. So you can see if I just tap on snapshot right here, it will take a couple of seconds and will show me a summary of that website. You can see that whole website right here on just this little paragraph and you can basically get just like this, the summarized for any website you want. And you can see even a website, maybe something like Apple right here that's a bit more complicated with all the images and all the stuff. We can just go ahead and tap right there. It will summarize it in a couple of seconds. Next up is Rapid Reminders. Now, this is a very easy way to add reminders to your device. Anytime you want to quickly add a reminder, you can do it with this app. Doing through the Reminders app, it's a bit more complicated. With this, it's very simple. So let's just go ahead and try to add one. Just tap on done. You can see here today, time, minutes, and we're good to go. Now what you can do here is add this, but these actually won't be saved into this app. This app you use just to add the reminder. The reminders themselves will be added to the reminders app, which is really, really cool. You can see the one we just added right there. So it's very simple to do. In a couple of seconds, you can add any reminder you want. Next up is App Raven, one of my favorite apps, one of the apps that I probably use the most on my device. Now with this app, you can find a ton of cool apps for your device. You can see what we have right here. This is the home of the app. Right here will have the popular apps. You go here, all the popular apps. Of course, you can filter them right here. You can sort them. Here we have the daily popularity. We can just go ahead and choose maybe the most popular apps of the week or of the month, and it will display right here. You can, of course, find a ton of different apps, free apps as well. So here we have on sale apps. You will find a ton of cool apps that are actually paid but you will find them for free right here you will have the newest releases the released apps right here recently updated apps and then if you go to collections here you will just find a ton of collections created by users where you can find some really beautiful apps you just search for any like theme of apps you want to search for it will show you all kinds of different collections like right here emulators you can see all the emulators that are currently on the app store a nice app very very easy to use and of course it offers you the ability to find apps and easy download them to your device 
Now, similar to desktop mini, we have another one here, but this one is specifically for files that you have on the files app. Now, right here, you can choose any folder, any file that you have on the files app and display it right here. So if I need to have quick access to my downloads, I will have the shortcut right here. As easy as that, I can go to my files by simply tapping on the home screen widget. Now, what you can do here is go into the app, the way you add a folder there, just tap add a shortcut and then choose what you wanna add, a link, a file or a folder. If you wanna add a folder, you can just go ahead and select one file in that folder, that way you add it to your home screen and as easy as that, you can quickly go to any of your files. Next up is Unroll Me. Now, this one is actually very, very useful. You know that on your mail app, you probably get a ton of emails from the same source every day. Basically, you're subscribed to those sources and they will send you automatic emails every day. What you can do with this app is unsubscribe from them. So you will have the buttons here. You can see I can just tap unsubscribe. As easy as that, I can unsubscribe from anywhere I want. So I don't want any emails from them anymore. You can see we have 58 subscriptions there, getting a ton of emails every day that I don't actually need. You can just go ahead and choose to unsubscribe directly from here. Temporary email is the next one for the video. This one is actually very useful. It allows you to create temporary emails and use them maybe when you're setting up an app or maybe just talking to someone you don't want to give out your real email you can use this one so there is your temporary email you can see right here email is randomly generated and it it will expire in about two days so you cannot basically use this for your important accounts as i said just maybe when signing in on a website or an app that you want to try out or just when sending an email when you don't want to give out your real email so you copy it right here when you want to use it you will also have the inbox so right here we'll find all the emails that will come to your email right here and then you will have here the ability to switch between different emails all the emails that you generate here will be right there and you can just go ahead and switch between them as easy as that now here's another one that is very simple but it's actually very useful it is called don't forget so anytime you need to remember something you just come into the app right here write it down and just tap right there get out of the app and there you have it on the dynamic island or maybe on your lock screen right here as you can see you will have that note and it will be displayed there for eight hours so anytime during the day that you need to really keep something in mind you can just go ahead write it down on the app and there you have it you will remember it all the time shot magic is the next one for the video it allows you to edit your screenshots and also add a border on them make them look really nice and really professional and easily hide anything you want so you load the picture from here and once you have loaded the image you want to use you will have your tools right here so you will have the background you will have the scale here so you can change the scale right there and if you want to hide anything then that will be very easy so right here we will have a few like different tools that we can use so if i just want to hide that once i have that enabled i can just go ahead and tap on any word or any sentence that i want to hide and i can easily hide them just like this it's pretty cool now, of course you can change the color of that as well and hide it with any other color you can of course highlight anything you want as easy as that again it's pretty cool and very very useful actually in a lot of cases once you have done all this you can just simply go ahead and export it under your camera roll and last but not least is super finder this is a totally free bluetooth finder so on the app store you probably have seen a ton of these apps that allow you to find your bluetooth devices this one is free very simple to use simply tap right here it will scan your area and it will find any bluetooth devices that you have near you now of course it will show you the percentage right there which indicates how close you are to your bluetooth device so there we have the device you can see now it's at 100 percent and once i put it away you can see it's a bit further it comes closer here and just like that you can just go ahead and find any of your devices 
you tap right here once you have found the device and you're good to go so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and the apps if you want to download any of these apps make sure to check out the pinned comment you will find all the links there again thank you guys for watching the video and i'll see you on the next one